until you question what's already in your head, you will do what's already in your head. Okay. There is a, I don't know if people are Christian or not, but it's in the Bible that goes, the words become flesh. Go to school, get a job, work hard, save money, get out of debt, invest in the stock market, buy a house, buy a car. Until you question that, you're hypnotized. You'll be a poor person all your life. I'm constantly thinking about how do I make money? How do I serve more people? How do I create new businesses, make more money and pay less taxes and serve more people? Well, I'm a military officer. We military school teaches to work for a mission. What's your mission in life? And making money is really easy. I don't understand what the big deal is. So I retired a long time ago. It's up to the person. It's up to the person. It's a free, free choice. You want to be an employee, you choose to be an employee. You want to be an entrepreneur, you choose to be an entrepreneur, but you've got to study. They're two, two different people. What you have to study is different. Mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, they're different people. An entrepreneur is extremely different than an employee. But it's a different study. The trouble is our school system trains us to be employees. Go to school, get a job, work hard, save money, pay your taxes, get out of debt, and invest in the stock market. That makes you poor. So that's hypnosis. They hypnotize people into being employees who will work hard, pay taxes, save money, get out of debt, and invest in the stock market. Until you question those sayings, those words, you'll be a poor person. It's the banks run the world. The rich run the world. They don't care if you're communism capitalist. So when you save, so let's say you save one dollar US or one euro, one yen, the banking system can lend out 10. So the entire system is called the fractional reserve system. The fractional reserve system is also printing money. And then they tell you to save money. So they, they want you to save money so they can lend out your money 10 times. So your dollar became worthless 10 times over. And then they used to pay you 10% interest on your money. Now it's at best 1%. And they're still lending it out 10 times. So that's why you don't save money is because your money is becoming worth less and less and less and less and less. The banks are getting richer and richer and richer. Then they tax you on that interest you they pay you. That 1% interest, if they pay you that much, Japan is zero. And the Japanese are so stupid, they still save money. You also have zero. Yeah, and they still save money. How stupid is that? So that's what I would question. So how come that happens? My job is to make complex financial systems simple enough so the average person can understand it. That is extremely difficult because most people are brainwashed when it comes to money. Go to school, get a job, work hard, pay your taxes, save money, get out of debt, buy a house, and invest in the stock market. Everybody who follows that program has been brainwashed. It's because of the system that controls the world economy. And guys like you can't even see it. You think about money. I don't even care about money. I make a lot of money because I understand the system. I would never go to school, get a job, work hard, save money, get out of debt, buy a house, and invest in the stock market. I do everything exactly opposite. I'm trying to explain to you, when they tell you get out of debt, that's stupid because the money is debt. And the only way money gets out of debt is via taxes. So all the people who work for money, red, rich, dad, poor, dad, what's lesson number one? Money is debt. I use debt as money. And everybody thinks getting in debt is bad. Well, who told you that? I think the stock market is for losers. Why would you put money in the stock market when it's manipulated? That's what I think about. So I'm always watching the manipulation going on behind the scenes. That's what my brain is focusing on all the time. And I don't pay taxes. Question is, how is it I don't pay taxes? I can tell you.
That's an, that's an important question because most people are so, most Romanians and most people in the United States cheat on their taxes because they hate taxes so much. But you don't have to cheat on taxes if you understood how money was working. You think Donald Trump pays taxes? No. I know him, he's my friend. We don't pay taxes. That's the question, how is it we do that? That's an intelligent question. Why would you save money when they're printing money? So question that. You see, if you cannot think, I cannot help you. I questioned all that. Why would I save money when they print money? That's what happened in 1971 when President Nixon took the dollar off the gold standard. They can print as much as they like. Then they tell you, so that you go to school, you get a job, you become an employee. You pay taxes because you're working for money. Then they tell you to save money. Do you know why they tell you to save money? By 2010, I had borrowed $300 million to buy real estate that made me rich. And the interest rates kept coming down so that my cost of money kept coming down. And so everybody else is saying, oh, you should get out of debt. You know why? Because they don't question the hypnosis they're under. You've been hypnotized to work hard for money, to save it. The fractional reserve system prints it. And then uh, they pay taxes of taxes. So I, get, I have all this debt and I get rich. So the question is, how do you learn to use debt to get rich? Because they tell you not to, do, not to get out of debt. So all I'm saying to you is if a person does not question what they've been taught, they will always be poor. They've been hypnotized into being poor. Then you put it in the stock market, you know, in pensions, right? So let's say I put $100 in a pension plan. When do I get that money back? This is why I think, this is why I work, this is why I teach. You have to question what they're teaching. So okay. I put I put my money in a pension. I might not ever get it back because they could lose it. So the question I always say is, well, when do I get my money back? And the average person has been hypnotized. Go to school, get a job, work hard, save money, and invest in a pension. And you never get your money back. The whole thing was designed to keep you poor. So that's why I argue with you, until a person questions what's already been put in their head. And that's what my poor dad put in my head. Go to school, get a job, work hard. And that's America, the same as Romania, it's not any different. We used Save to money, put it, in the, put it in the stock market. You never get your money back. And so the banks love it. They love people who borrow lots of money. So how do I get rich? I borrow money and I buy assets with it. The poor person borrows money and buys liabilities like purses, cars, houses, and they get poorer and poorer and poorer. But I use debt. Well, fake, my book, my new book, Fake, is just that. It's how I don't use any money and how I don't pay any taxes because it's fake money, fake teachers, fake assets, stocks, bonds, mutual funds, ETFs. I don't touch any of that garbage. And you're but, an honest but, but you've been taught to do that. That's the question. Until that is challenged, you're gonna think fake is fake. You see, please understand, it's not just Romania. You must think, you know, today, if you know people complain, I don't make enough money in Romania. Well, you have a cell phone, you can make money all over the world. You can't make money in dollars, yen, flotnik, pesos, you know. It's just limited thinking. If a person doesn't change what's inside their head, the actual thoughts running their brain, which are words, they'll never change. So the change begins when you question, go to school, get a job, work hard, pay taxes, save money, get out of debt and invest in the stock market. Until you, you, until you question that one, nothing changes.